88.1 XFM, Tauranga Set Music Station, also an unsponsored episode of Mike Time Marty. Jets Car Grooming, all the way over from Tauranga. If you want your car spec and span, just go to Jets Car Grooming. I have a good friend of mine from TikTok who has been a big supporter of mine for the past mm-hmm. two, three years. He also has a TikTok and a YouTube channel himself. So say hello to Jordan. G'day, guys. Okay, so first of all, Jordan, what made you want to do TikTok and YouTube and Twitch and social media like that? Um, it just inspired me from just my favorite YouTubers from from year five and seeing PewDiePie and all that. They're going big, and I was like, um, I were talking to YouTube here as well, um, and I just thought I could do this, so. Um, with TikTok, um, I just got told by my sister, she said, oh, you'll da- uh, download this now, you'll get addicted. I was like, nah, no way, I'm not, I'm not downloading it. Um, it took me about a few days, I was like, oh, fine, get it on my phone. I was like, yeah, okay, these are pretty good. A few hours later, I was like, oh, wow, it's nine o'clock in the, um, in the night. Uh, might as well go to bed. Oh, that's an um, interesting video. And I just keep watching and got hooked on it. Okay. So what was your reaction when I asked you to be on the podcast? Um, it was definitely surprising. And yeah, um, that's pretty much it. <laughs> So um, when it comes to making content, like, of course, you do YouTube as well. Um, how do you come up with ideas for videos that, you know, that will captivate your audience? Um, it's just, I've just um, got the ideas in my head and that's just, and I just, um create it to be honest yeah okay so where would you see yourself in five years uh that's a good question um hopefully i've got a silver play button and if i'm still doing tiktok and if that's still an app probably five thousand followers okay all right, well, Jordan, this is a recurring segment I have on my show. It's called Quick Fire Questions. How well are you on thinking on your feet? Um, like quick fire questions? Mm-hmm. Uh, um, I, I'm all right, I guess, yeah. Okay, so, um, yeah, I'm just going to ask you some questions. You're going to answer them as quickly as you possibly can. Okay. Chocolate or vanilla? Vanilla. Okay, sunset or sunrise? Sunset. Favorite movie? Um, The Lion King. Hey, favorite actor? Favorite actor? Um, Tom Hanks. Okay, favorite actress? Oh, um, I don't have one. You don't have one? Okay. Uh, favorite comedian? Favorite <laughs> comedian? Ah. Maybe Martin, yeah. Okay, fair enough. Yeah. Um, favorite color? Favorite color, it would be blue. Okay. Um, if you could pick one company to sponsor you, who would it be? Um, Gatorade. Gatorade, okay. Um, if you could meet one celebrity, who would it be? Oh, Tom Holland. Okay. Um, if you weren't doing YouTube, TikTok and stuff, what would you want to do? I would just um, be just, just doing me um, without it. Okay. Yeah. Uh, spicy or sweet? Uh, sweet. Okay. Uh, favorite restaurant? Ooh. KFC. Okay. 
Um, who's one TikToker who you think is overrated? Uh, good question. There's so many. Oh, that's Russell. Okay. Uh, who's a TikToker who you think is underrated? Um, Mr. Beast. Yeah. Okay. Um, last one. If you could change one thing about TikTok, what would it be? Uh, that everyone can just go live for free. And, okay. yeah. Okay. All right, well, Jordan, here's your chance for redemption. You get to ask me some quick five questions. Be as difficult as you want. Um, okay. Um, most overrated YouTuber. Overrated YouTuber? I think Logan and Jake Paul. Most underrated YouTuber. Um, I would probably say a guy called Brandon Ferris. Oh, yeah. Did you might or my might on toast? I might. Toasty, uh, sorry, toasties or sandwiches? Toasties. Um, chocolate or uh, lollies? Mm, I'll probably go lollies because you do start getting sick of chocolate after a while. Hot chocolate or coffee? Coffee. Um, energy drinks or, um, Coffee, yeah, I don't know. Yeah. Energy drinks. All right, and final one. Um, gaming or things hands on. Um, probably gaming. I I do like to jump in onto the Xbox and just do stuff so yeah probably that sweet all right so this is another recurring segment it is called explain that grams so i'm going to dabble in your instagram and you're just going to um explain what it is so let's go with so i'll find you there we go okay so you have two instagrams so just start with um, this one. Oh, this, okay. So I'm explaining about why I created it. Mm -hmm. oh, okay, sweet. So um, I just created it because my all my mates pretty much said, oh, you should just download Instagram. It's a fun app. We can add you to group chats. We can tag you, get some followers, get you to know, uh, get other people to know you better. And yeah, pretty much. And let's go with, hmm. Okay, is this the same one for your private account? Uh, yes. Yeah, okay. Do you have your phone with you? Yep. Cool, all right. Now your chance for redemption. Go on to my Instagram and ask me to explain that gram. Oh, I got you. Right, okay, yeah, yeah. How about this one? Ah, uh, so uh, I'm living with my auntie and uncle here in uh, Martin, no pun intended. And uh, they have a cat who uh, somehow is obsessed with me. So every night she would either jump through my window, claw at my door, just to be able to sit on my chest. And that time she was snoring her ass off. And literally every single time I'd have this hot flush of cat breath. And I'm like, someone save me. <laughs> All right. And this one. 
Ah, so that is my uh, my headshot for when I do acting or radio jobs. Um, I was told by Sam Bunkle, um, who plays Boyd Rolleston for Short and Straight. He told me if I wanted to get into acting and hopefully be on the likes of Shortland Street or something, I need a decent headshot. And I literally just bought my ring light. So uh, decided to do a photo. Sam approved it. And now that's my headshot. And that's probably my profile picture for all my social medias, except for YouTube. Awesome. All right, one more. All right. Um, and this one. <laughs> so, um, I went back to my home life from home, the Hawks Bay Opera House. Um, and I went to a show that I was invited to as a uh, kind of like a special guest of sorts. And, um, it was an amazing production about uh, Maori culture. Um, and, uh, yeah, so I took a few photos of the Opera House, me watching the show, and just saying it's great to be able to like step into those doors because that that building, first of all, it was closed because it wasn't earthquake safe, but also that's where I first started doing stand up. So that place, the New Zealand School of Radio, and probably my family are the whole reason why I do what I do. So, wow. Let's go. Okay. So yeah. uh, um, so if I was to ask you who would be one person that you'd want to collab with? Collab. Um I would probably if I got the chance, probably collab with Markiplier. Markiplier. Okay. So yeah. um you've you've heard of like the high pals and um like Brent Rivera's group and stuff. Oh, if you yeah. could pick four people to be part of your group, who would you pick? Out of those two groups. Yeah. So um uh, just pick four people to be in your group. It could be celebrities, right. it could be close friends. Um Definitely Brent, um, Ben, um, you, um, and probably Lil Hardy. Lil Hardy, okay. So are you always wanting to do gaming or are you wanting to do stuff like Mr. Beast and do challenges and um like giveaway stuff or are you just wanting to focus on gaming um it's a bit of both um do like my gaming mostly mm -hmm. but would definitely want to change up some content and do something like that okay so if i was to ask you what would be your first challenge video first challenge video would probably um, it's probably not a lot, but it would definitely help. Um, because there is a few in our town. Um, given, um, would you um, given homeless people like fifty dollars each and for ten, mm -hmm. like or something to start with. Yeah. And so then they get like food, accommodation for a night, fix, you know. Yeah. Okay. So, um, if I was to ask you, if you could pick one musician to do your theme song, who would you pick? Um, probably. Um, I don't know many musicians. Ooh. Maybe Paul McCartney. Okay. Okay. So, like, what gave you the idea to start doing social media? Was it just, oh, my friends are doing it, so I might as well? Or did yep. you 
have your mind set on doing social media? Well, yeah, it was mainly just tagging along with my friends. But, yeah, if I didn't tag along, I could have still had social media or I could have just been the person without it, so... Okay, well, I am sorry to bring this up, but uh, yesterday you did lose both of your TikTok accounts. How many followers did you have on them? I had 1,223-ish, I think, okay. and about 1,000. Oh, no, so that's the other way around. It's um, 1,211. Mm -hmm. And 1,124. Okay. So roughly you would have had 3,000 followers between both accounts. Yeah. About that. Crazy. So what made you um, follow me on TikTok and look at my journey and what I was doing? I was just interested with um, your voice impressions, um, the music you were doing and those comedy shows um you would post and they were f funny and i was like yeah i'll give um this dude a follow he's funny now look at us. Yeah. <laughs> okay jordan are you ready to play a game sure okay so do you want to do trivia or a mic time with marty classic uh, trivia. Trivia. Okay. So, I have a big giant box right here, thanks to Bunnings Warehouse. And I'm going to attempt to open it. There we go. All right. So, I'm just going to grab heaps of them, and you've just got to answer them as best as you can. Okay. All right. Let's That's go. Good. Worse. This is a proper game show, so. Oh. All right. Let's go with name three brands of shoe. Nike, Adidas, and um, oh, and Supreme. Supreme. Okay. Uh, name modes of transport. How many? Wait. Name three modes of transport. Okay. Motorcycling. Mm -hmm. Um dry. Oh gosh. Biking. Okay. And uh, the bus. The bus. Okay. Name three countries you'd want to visit. Italy. Um Texas. And Canada. Canada, okay. All right, uh, let's go with, name the donkey in Winnie the Pooh. Well, oh, it's been ages. Um, I'm not too sure. No, it's been too long. Uh, it's Eeyore. Oh. All right. Which brand promotes spray and white? Uh, Mr. Muscle? Ajax. Oh. All right. What condiment would you be eating if you were eating best foods? Um, vegetables and fruit. Uh, no. So this is a condiment. Oh, sorry, sorry. Yeah. Um. Um. All right, I'll give you some hints. Yeah, Barbecue okay. sauce, mayonnaise, oh. or tomato sauce. Which one? Barbecue sauce. Barbecue sauce? Yeah. You sure? Mm-hmm. Mayonnaise. Oh. All right, which milk brand name relates to boats? Anchor. Good job. All right, let's go with... Uh, name New Zealand's longest running drama that airs on TV2. 
I've had a few guests on the show that have been on there. Sure, let's show it. There we go. All right, name the weekend kids show on TV2 that uses the star thingy. Um, what now? That's right. All right. Next one. Name the brand. Wheat Bix. Oh, all right. What kids event does Wheat Bix sponsor? Uh, triathlon. Triathlon. Yeah. yeah. Um, all right. Okay. Cool. All right. Complete the famous phrase. Kiwi kids. Are rocking it. Rocking it. Kiwi kids are Wheat Bix kids. Oh. In the Wheat Bix TV commercial, how many can Ali do? It's a number. Four? Yep. Uh, All right. And last one. Show us a secret talent. Uh, um, um. I don't know if I, I've not done it in a while, but it's that. Okay, it's, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> You're all good, though. You're all good. All right. So this is part two of the game. Dun, dun, dun. Don't be scared. Yeah. All right. So um, I'm going to give you a, uh, a song or a voice impression. Actually, no. We'll change it up. We are going to do a game I call How Would You React? There should be graphics or something, but I don't have the budget for it. So I'm going to give you a scenario like you're at the beach, you're at the supermarket, you're hanging out with friends, you're making a YouTube channel, and uh, something drastic happens. You've got to act out how would you react. (gasps) Okay, so we'll go backwards and forwards. So I'll start with you. Um, let's go, you're at home and you get a knock at the door and it is the mascot of KFC. How would you react? Mind, mind blown. Mind blown. Okay. What's my one? Um, how would you react? Well, have you got a sponsor? Yes, I do. Uh, but, how would I react if I got a sponsor? Uh, yeah. Def- um, to be honest, it depends on who it is. Like, if mother wants to sponsor me, by the way, please. Um, I'd probably go, wow, I'm being sponsored by this huge brand that has kept me awake for years. Why? <laughs> <laughs> Right, let's go with okay. You're enjoying some food, and um, let's go. There is a a kid who sits next to you every single day, and uh, he starts grabbing your food without asking. How would you react? Hey man, um, if you mind asking, um, next time. It would be good, and you can have um, both of them if you like. If you're starving, help yourself, but please ask. Manners mm-hmm. um, doesn't cost anything, but it goes a long way. Fair enough. All right, what's my one? Um, if someone wanted to trade you um, and you thought it was a good deal, but they think it's... Well, no, so if you think it's a bad deal, but they think it's a good deal, how would you react? Okay, then. Let's go with... Okay, so if someone wanted to trade me juggling balls, by the way, I can juggle. Um, and I and I'm juggling balls for a packet of Lipton iced tea, I'd be going, make it peach and we've got a deal. Okay, so Jordan, when it comes to being recognized, like do you ever get recognized for doing YouTube, TikTok? Yes. Yes, okay. What's been your weirdest reaction to when you get recognized? 
Oh, thank you. Thank you. Um, but, um, can I just continue being me? I don't know. All right, so that was the end of the game. Congratulations. Good job, good job. Um, 10 stars for everyone. Uh, so if you were to create an app like TikTok or Instagram or maybe even Tinder, who knows, what would your app be called? My app would be called Cricket um, Marathon 40. Uh, 3D, so, so, yeah. And what would the app be? Um, it would just be about cricket mm-hmm. and you score runs and with you got to hit the rope mm-hmm. and you hit the rope on the full, it's a six and out if you get a one bounce it's a six but not out okay okay um if you could be if you could pick a celebrity to take over your life for one day who would it be um ryan reynolds ryan reynolds okay so jordan i've been asking you a lot of questions throughout this interview do you have any questions for me about what I do, even though we're good friends? Do you have any questions that you've always wanted to ask me? Um, no. No? It's, yeah. Okay, fair enough. All right, well, Jordan, I'm going to give you the floor. Promote yourself, Instagram, TikTok, Twitch, if you've got it. Let the people know what's happening. Uh, well, guys, my YouTube channel is Jordan Shorty, capital J. J O R D Y, and then some people spell it S H O R T Y, and that's how you do it. So, Jordan Shorty, and on my UU TikTok account, it's just Jordan underscore 16, and my Insta, midgetman underscore 15. Okay, so how did you come up with the name midgetman? I kind of got it from an old friend and I just we bumped into each other and they're like oh you're a midget and you're nearly a man so I'm going to call you midget man and plus you're 15 but yeah this was ages ago okay now for everyone wondering uh me and Jordan were on a live yesterday and the reason he's been saying uh hoya is because we were playing a game of truth or dare we were bored and um, so he had to say hoya five times. Now, you've only said it four times. So I'm going to need it one more time. It's because I've been saving that last one. I wasn't trying to get away with four. But all right. All right. Hiya. <laughs> all right. Well, Jordan, uh, what are you doing for the rest of the day? Because it is currently 5.15. Um, I'm probably going to watch a couple YouTube videos, try snatch a couple ideas, and I'll be like, oh, I can kind of do that. And just research it. All right, cool. So if you could pick one person to be on the show, who would it be? Someone else? Mm-hmm. <sighs> These are very good questions. Probably. I oh gosh. I want to go with the actor for scum, Tom Hanks. Tom Hanks? Yeah. Ooh, I'll see what I can do. Now I love it how you said those are really good questions because if you have a look right there, that's my diploma. So if All I right. didn't If I didn't have that, the questions would suck. So. (laughs) I mean, think they're getting me um, to think, which I should just be quick fine. That does feel good. And yeah. yeah. Like I've interviewed people that have had hundreds and hundreds of interviews. 
Yet I'm the one that stumps them with the questions that I ask. And I love that. It's because it's very good. Yes. Okay, so you mentioned uh, my voice impressions. What's your favorite voice impression I can do? Scooby Doo. Oh my god. Uh, so like, row, raggy, ring. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> All right, Jordan, is there anything else you'd like to say before we conclude this interview? Oh, I think it's it's good. Like, everything's fine. Okay, well, Jordan, thank you so much for taking your time. I will probably message you this afterwards. You'll be going, oh, my God, I was on your podcast. Wow. Um, no you, problem. I'm going to oh, share sorry. the link to you. You can share it around to your friends saying, like, oh, my God, I was on Mike Tavis' podcast. He's had people from Shortland Street, what now, the WWE. And, um, yeah, I was on it, not you. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so, uh, yeah, Jordan keep in touch and who knows maybe when you become big rich and famous we could do this again sometime yeah sounds good <laughs> all right catch you later dude see ya all right guys that was my main man jordan who is an amazing uh person he's an awesome content creator now i have something that i need to discuss Dun, 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 dun. I have merch that is coming out. That's right. Mike Time with Marty is going to be having merch coming out. It's currently in the making. So I'm going to make another YouTube video probably after this uh, talking about it. And um, yeah. So when it comes out, please go grab some merch. It's going towards a great cause. And also so I can make better content for you guys. And also, you're going to be wearing some fire merch. i got to say. It's going to have the logo. It's going to have um, Mike Time Marty all in bold. So everyone knows, probably going to think what the heck it is. And um, yeah, so thank you guys so much for all the support. Jordan, my main man. Cheers, dude. I appreciate it. And I will see you guys next time. Peace out.